you do that first, then you can uh, carry on with this uh, video. Hi guys, thanks for dropping in. Welcome to the channel. Um, I'm Rick and this little clip is going to be a brief discussion on engine bars. Um, I'm looking to get some full wrap engine bars to protect the tank, uh, as well as the uh, lower engine cases that the uh, OEM bars already protect. Um, I don't know, you, may be in, you might be in the same position at the moment, looking around, seeing what there is, or basically you might think in the future, you know, I might stick some on. Um, let's have a look. So I'm not going to whine on for too long because it's, it's a bit boring when there's no pretty pictures and bikes and all that stuff. I haven't bought any yet because I'm in the decision making process. Um, they're not cheap. We're talking about nearly £300 for the Touratech upper engine bars that bolt onto the KTM ones. You're talking nearly £300, £250, £300 for the Heed engine bars. Um, and that's pretty much it at the moment. So it's one or the other. Outback Motor Tech haven't come up with anything yet apart from problems um, that they're having trying to find a viable solution, so they say, um, because they don't like the lower KTM engine bars um, for attaching any upper engine bars to that they come up with. Um, so in short, one piece engine bars are the strongest, goes without saying where the upper part is attached to the lower part in one piece and both left and right sides of the bike come together. So ultimately two pieces, but you know what I mean. Um, however, if you're looking at heed engine bars, I've got some information for you. Uh, it might not be a deal breaker, but it was interesting. It was an interesting find for me. Um, I've communicated with heed to find out exactly fitting issues that I've raised and they have confirmed uh, them to be the case um, as I'll briefly describe now. So first one, heed bars. So I've just shown you a photo or two, um, I can't remember, um, of the heed bars. Uh, they are one piece, i.e. uppers and lowers attached together at the same, you know, as one piece. Um, so it makes them stronger. The rear fixing point means that you cannot use uh, frame protectors. Now, to be honest, it might not be a problem for some of you guys. You don't rate frame protect protectors anyway. But for me, um, let's just say it saved my frame from some deep scouring. I mean, I may as well have got a nail and scraped down the side of it, uh, judging from what I found on my frame protectors uh, after doing the uh, rally weekend. Um, so yeah, they've done the job, albeit uh, comes with their own issues, but I'm not talking about frame protector issues here. So yes, I want my frame protectors. So heed bars, not compatible. Um, also, you may have seen in the photograph, I've highlighted the upper fixings. At the front, where they join uh, underneath the cockpit. Now, he'd have come back and said, yes, there's, there's a conflict problem. There's a problem there because the OEM spotlights, if you want or have them fitted, uh, they use the same fixing points. Now, they did say I should use a universal spotlight fitting kit, which they also sell. Um, but to be honest, I don't want my spotlights stuck anywhere on the engine bars. I mean, you know, it's not a GS. <laughs> and that's where the GS has their, in, their spotlights fitted. And there's nothing wrong with that. I just want my KTM spotlights, which I paid a fortune for, to stay where they were designed to be. Um, so that's a deal breaker for me. Also, the heed bars, the position itself, why are they using the auxiliary spotlights? Here's a photo of exactly what they're tied into. So if the bike goes down and it shifts the engine bars, not only, in my opinion, have you got uh, the panels to worry about, but if those engine bars get shifted, uh, you're potentially looking at other problems. 
I just don't see where the benefit is of attaching engine bars to these plastic strips, pretty much fairing panels, where the OEM spotlights go. I'll show you next clip, or sorry, not clip, photograph. Right, do you see what I mean? Those two holes, that's where the engine bars are also tied into on the bike. Yes, they're structurally tied in at the back where the foot pegs are, they're braced on the sump, and they're also attached to other parts of the frame of the bike and also together at the front. But why would you want to attach them to that little bit of plastic either side of the light? The, to me, I don't think you're gonna get much structural benefit from that yet you're compromising people's ability to leave their lights where they are just my opinion um, and i'll leave that one there that's the heed engine bars so bear that in mind if you're thinking of buying the heed full wrap engine bars for your 2021 ktm 1290 super adventure that's taken some practice um, right and before i end that one i love heed Thank you. I've got them on my Tiger 800. I've had them on the 800s before. A fantastic company, top quality, just like Perrin Moto. Um, qu quality merchandise, um, but not for me on this bike. Sorry. Next, uh, Outback Motor Tech. Here's a uh, clip from a forum on their response on where they are at at the moment with uh, developing uh, engine bars for this bike. So there's nothing available, but, and also I don't know how long it's going to be before there is something available. Um, so it could be a wait just like the KTM uh, aftermarket, uh, KTM power parts wait times. It could be months, most definitely next year. Um, so, you know, I'm not really keen on that. I want something now, ideally, um, but anyway, this is the email from Outback, this is the email, this is the communication on one of the uh, KTM forums from Outback Motor Tech. So there's nothing on offer from them at the moment. Which leads me to Tura Tech. Tura Tech. We all know, most of us anyway, that are into adventure bikes and uh, off-road and you know, used to bolting stuff on the bikes, brackets, luggage, you name it. They are known everywhere. They are a big boy. Um, now they do upper engine bars that fix onto the KTM lower engine bars. So you could class them as a two-part bar. Structurally, goes without saying, never gonna be as strong as a one-piece bar made out of a single piece that will tubing all welded together to make one piece. Uh, instead, they're attached by clamps, pretty much similar to the uh, OEM bars that attach to the frame, uh, and they join together in front of the radiator. So clamped down either side and joined together in front of the radiator and behind the front forks. Now, people have said that these are inferior. Um, mainly because of the weakness of the KTM bars at the bottom. They're structurally could do better. Uh, when the bike has fallen over with some people, the KTM engine bars have actually moved because of the way they're designed. Um, and you can see the bars in some photos have actually moved closer to the black plastics that go around the, the lower bladder tanks, you know, the part. If you've got one of these bikes, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, so that means when the bike goes over, if you have the Touratech ones, if that's going to shift, then either the clamps are going to go into those bits of black plastic um, and hence not be foolproof, fail safe, so to speak. Now, I'm under the impression that Touratech, being a big company and a big brand, aren't going to be selling these items at £300 each that are absolutely useless. That's pretty much, if, if they don't protect the bike to some degree, they are selling them 
as useless pieces of metal for 300, nearly £300 a pop. So I'd, I'd like to believe that their R&D has been you know, carried out well enough to know that they, are, they do provide some benefit. Um, you can still use your frame protectors from KTM. You can still leave your OEM spotlights where they're supposed to be. Um, so there's no compromise in that respect, apart from the compromise of overall strength not being one piece. So essentially that's all this video is about. The choice is yours. I don't know what your decision is, or what you think is best. Um, choice is you wait, see what Outback Motor Tech comes up with. Um, I don't know how long that's going to be. Um, but if you're considering heed, there's definitely some things you want to be considering. You can't use frame protectors. They will not guarantee the fitment of the front of the bike uh, with spotlights. Um, so yeah, not ideal and not advertised. Um, you'll only find that out most people when they've bought them and then they decide to want these items later and you can't and um, yeah Touratech hey it's Touratech it should be good um, but comes with its own clauses I guess um, if you found the video helpful um, <laughs> I don't normally say this but because I'm not actually actually showing you anything um, I don't really know if I'm getting any feedback on this but give me a thumbs up if you found it useful um, and if not then Thanks for watching. Um, see you later. Oh, and I think I'm going for the Tour of Tech. And if something comes out better later on, then I'll readdress it.